We've got an opportunity right now during coronavirus to put things in place to help artists. Um, I'd like to see the government offering visa support services, um, offering help with customs and making plans now because our business is very much long term planning. To put a tour together, you need at least nine months in advance before you can get anything done. So I'd like to see what, what the government's proposals are to when we come out of coronavirus, how they're going to help re-establish what is an amazingly powerful patriotic force for good and also a massive source of taxable revenue for a lot of hospitals in, this, in the UK with, the, um, with, our, with our touring economy. Well, for bands like us, we're fortunate and we have like accounting legal services to cover the new red tape that's being proposed and costs for uh, um, traveling and transporting. But what, what about bands who are coming up who could be the future, Radiohead or Marillion, um, over the next decade? And that, that's, that's the big worry. And, and, and of course, this, this, is the, this, is the, this is the problem, Colin, that, you know, for so many bands, the early, the early part of their career has been spent, you know, back and forth, back and forth across the channel, perhaps playing smaller gigs, getting the touring experience, and, of course, building the fan base. Well, um, you know, um, as Elton John said in his article in The Guardian, you know, the um, UK music industry contributed £5.8 billion pounds to the uh, economy last, in 2019. And that money didn't come from nowhere. Uh, um, it, it came over years of um, people working together with technicians, uh, with promoters, um, to learn their craft. And it was a really important part of our story, as Elton John said, you know, that you, you, you learn how to work together, how to translate your music, how to bring the best of, you know, British culture to other cultures and, and to, to get that amazing feedback in return.